So since I pretty much just crushed it with the old creature bait explanation, what else you got, Missy? Well, keep talking about different ways to, I think you're talking about different ways of tying a bait. What? What are you talking about? Some, there's, for different states, there's a Texas rig and a Carolina rig, and then there's one that's wacky. Yeah. Is it different ways to tie stuff on? Yeah, it's how it's set up. So a Texas rig is basically the hook at the end and a weight that's free floating. If you peg the weight, it becomes a, or if you have a screw in weight, it's called a Florida rig. And then if you have a weight, a bead that clicks, a swivel, and a leader that goes back to a saw plastic on a hook, that's a Carolina rig. And then there's, there's other different types of rigs. Why is it called wacky? Wacky is um, hooked in the middle. And so when you reel it, it does this, so it's it's not rigged right, so it's rigged wacky, you know? Oh, it's another one of those that, oh, yeah. we just named stuff the way it should be Wacky, named. that makes sense. Like, the reason they call marijuana wacky tobacco because it makes you act different. Well, this makes the lure act different because it's rigged wacky, oh. different than the way it's supposed to be rigged you can originally. You the same lure in different, different ways. ways. Did y'all has... see the light bulb come on there? <laughs> it was blinding if you were in the car with me. But I mean, I'm talking, it just flashed. If you didn't see it, it's because you, it doesn't translate in video, but in her eyes, they're already blue, but they lit up bright blue. That was the actual light bulb coming on just happened right here on Kayak Bass and TV. I thought that it was just when you were talking about it that it had to do with the kind of lure and how you tied that one particular lure. And I thought no. I was going to have to remember for You can tie a lizard, lure to tie a Texas different. rig and Florida rig. You can Carolina rig it. You can Carolina rig a, a worm. You can Carolina rig a creature bait. It's just a different way of rigging. It's mostly soft plastics. It's almost all soft plastics. Uh, and wacky. Oh, because you can bend them on the hook. Bless her heart. All right. Anyway, give Christy a thumbs up for her new learning process. It's coming along good now. We're like a toddler on shaky legs <laughs> that don't need to hold on to the corner of the coffee table anymore to be able to uh, walk forward and fall flat on her face all by herself now. Now, we're going to take all this stuff and mash it up together and put her on a hog, slaunch, donkey, gorilla, <laughs> Monica. With a creature bait. With a creature bait. <laughs> Carolina rigged. On, under, I want it wacky. Underwater. She said the oh, other day, hey, after our topwater lure discussion, she like asked me, water fish. she asked me, why didn't we call other lures underwater lures? <laughs> I did. <laughs> and then I told you I like to deep water fish. She likes to deep water fish. You know why she said she likes to deep water fish when we were down in Mississippi deep water fishing? Because it's so easy. You just go like this and just jerk it up and down. It's just like yoga. It's One, two, three, rest. to ever <laughs> compare fishing to yoga but think ever of it. I, I'm not I don't want to there's a see, rumble strip again sorry all right let's let them decide <laughs> should fishing and yoga ever ever be compared and used in the same analogy ever now yoga pants I'm fine with that and you can wear yoga pants fishing if you want to it's too hard but anyway that's um no <laughs> yoga and fishing do not go together at all anyway <laughs> please comment below and let me tell you what you tell us what you think about Christy's progression in the world of fishing lingo and getting learned up so that when she goes to a tackle shop she doesn't embarrass me okay Ooh, maybe we could go and I could name stuff Okay, so we're gonna film Christy being <laughs> quizzed at the tackle shop called Christy naming stuff at the tackle shop. See how I'm doing this? We name stuff exactly what it is. So we're gonna do a video called Christy naming stuff at the tackle shop to see what she knows and doesn't know video. That's that's coming next. I think it'll be good. I think we're gonna do well. Anyway, please give the video a big thumbs up if you like it and uh, 
as always don't forget to smash that subscribe button and do us a favor share the video and like invite your friends to come like the channel so you can help us grow it and we can continue to progress and do better and um yeah they might learn anyway something. yeah so anyway invite some friends get some popcorn this stuff's starting to get good thanks guys we'll see you next time